I'm in Delhi, India right now, in the middle of Delhi and I've been a little bit busy with work lately but now I have a little bit of time to explore in India but before that I've been to Canada, I've been to France but that was all for work and didn't really have much time to explore but now I do, so we're gonna explore India and all the monuments and all the temples and stuff like that which is gonna be cool, I'm super excited so let's do it Let's crack home. I wanted to get to a presidential estate, but apparently needed permission for that. So I'm walking around. It's like 40 degrees Celsius, which is super hot. I'm super hot, I'm sweaty as hell. So I'm just getting some time in a shade to chill and have some cold water to cool down. Because I don't want to get like sunstroke or something like that. But yeah, like I'm enjoying it anyway. It's super cool and yeah, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to actually see something and not walk around in 40 degrees sun. Just walk around. I mean, I don't mind walking around and sightseeing, but just walking around the estate, which is quite far. Because I cannot get Uber because I have no internet. It's a little bit painful. I'm still enjoying it, I'm still enjoying it. So let's rest a little bit and then head further. I'm so lost guys, so lost. But the guard tell me that it's the best to go to gate 30 to see the presidential palace. So I'm going there and I hope I'm gonna make it. But I'm sweating like crazy. It's so hot down here, but it will be worth it, it will be worth it, I'm sure it will. It looks like you need an online booking for seeing the presidential palace and everything around it, so I guess I'm just gonna try to get a rickshaw on Uber to India Gate and see that. Hopefully I can see that and find the internet so I can figure out what I should do. So lesson for now, make a proper research because I didn't and you can see what's happening. I'm getting lost, I have no internet, I have no bookings. Yeah, this day isn't going perfect, but hopefully we can turn it around. I'm pretty sure we can. So yeah, rickshaw ride to India Gate now. getting lost I took a tour with these people uh, that's gonna help me find the places to see so that's gonna be nice
Okay, so we just seen Lakshmi Narayan uh, temple and now we're gonna head for more adventures. It was really beautiful, really enjoyed it. And I have a really nice guide as well, really nice guide. We just arrived in Red Fort, which was built in 17th century. So we're gonna explore that now. Super beautiful already. And a lot of history here. So yeah, let's explore it. This was the tour through the Red Fort of Delhi, which is really beautiful. Built in 1700, like I said, really beautiful, really nice. If you in Delhi, definitely recommend to see it. We just went through amazing market. So many fruits, so much different stuff to sell. And now we try to uh, get in uh, other temple, but it's close until six o'clock. So we're gonna try to do something else right now. Finally got to the temple we wanted to go, so now we're gonna head up to the tower and explore this beautiful temple, which I'm gonna tell you the name of in a bit.
Okay, and I've arrived in my hotel and I'm super, super, super tired. Like, knock it, guys, knock it. So hot in Delhi, so hot. So lesson for today or lesson for this trip is if you want to explore Delhi, if you want to explore India, come in colder months. It's too hot to be able to do as much as you want in two days, which I have two days here. So we seen three temples here and markets and it was really nice. I'm really glad I took the guides. So if you come in here and you're not sure what to do or you don't have internet, that's really important. Internet helps a lot, but it's super expensive if you're coming from UK. So it's much better to just hire a guide and have a tour, have people going to places for you and with you and explaining what's going on there as well. So. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Really lovely places, super amazing temples, super big as well. I'm not sure how they find space for all those places and how they build it in like 17th century, like the last one or the one before, the, the Red Fort basically. Um, but yeah, it's, it's mind-blowing, the culture and how much going on as well is mind-blowing guys, it's mind-blowing so... Be prepared if you come into India be prepared for your mind to be blown because it will because there's so much going on in the street if you're driving in a car it's just mental on the street it's really really crazy and like I say don't come in June July because it's super hot it's like 45 degrees it was I was dying like I had to finish the tour earlier than it should because I was just dying because it's too hot, it's really too hot. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see what tomorrow is gonna bring. Anyway, it's time to finish this vlog. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's do more adventures, which I'm really excited for, because we have some plans for the summer with Martina, and that's gonna be amazing. But yeah, it's time to finish. So keep it sleek, guys. Peace and love. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.